and welcome back to another episode of the Angler's Logbook. Today we're out here on Lake Wanaka. It is a beautiful summer's day. Uh, we're just at the start of February and so we thought we'd come out here and have a troll around, uh, see if we can hook up to some fish. Um, but first we wanted to show you uh, what we've been up to earlier in the weekend. Here in New Zealand it is a long weekend, it's Waitangi Day today. Um, and so this weekend we've been getting out and about, uh, we've done a bit of hunting last night so we only got back at 4am last night so a little bit um, tired today but the night before we head out for a uh, soft bait mission uh, we head out with Jordan Mace, um, so he's a Cromwell local and showed us the right to soft baiting, um, taught us a few techniques and we managed to hook up to some great fish so before we get into the action here on Lake Monica we're going to show you that footage Still got some go. Oh, great fish. <laughs> that didn't take long. Is that a perch? Yeah, that's, that's a bloody big perch actually. Awesome. Alright so we're here on Lake Wanaka and we're going to be targeting uh, either rainbow trout or salmon here. Uh, so we already caught that brown trout which we smoked up um, as you would have seen. Um, and so we've got a bit of fish at home but if we catch something really tasty we'll take it home. But otherwise we're just out here for fun, see what we can uh, get up to on our day off work. And um, yeah hopefully we can hook up to some fish. So today we're just going to be uh, using this Akuma setup. Uh, so it's an Akuma Magda. It's got a depth counter on it. We've uh, done a run through of this setup before um, on our channel. Uh, so I'll put a card up in the corner for you to click on if you want to go and check that out. But essentially we've just got some lead line. Um, yeah, this uh, reel with a depth counter on it. And um, yeah, the Akuma rod. Uh, we've got a two meter leader down to a Tassie Devil. And we're just going to try trolling that around. Uh, we're doing sort of around three knots or so. And um, yeah, just see if we can hook up to something. But we've heard there's a few fish around this spot at the moment, um, so fingers crossed we'll be into the fish shortly. Don't know if you can see that, but at the moment there's a lot of lakes not in the lake. It's been quite low levels until a few days ago, and so um, you just get this algae this time of year. But easiest to get off your line once it's dry, but it's a bit frustrating. Yeah, you sort of get your line all caught up with that. Quite often have to clear it at the moment. Alright, let's 
as we're trolling around, uh, what we're trying to do is just keep around sort of 20 or 30 metres from the shore. We find that fish is typically between sort of 15 and 30 metres. Um, put out around 200, 240 feet of line, um, and keep in mind that's with the lead line, so it helps weight the lure down, uh, get it down to a little bit deeper water um, to get into these fish. Um, so we'll yeah try at that depth, and then if we don't hook up to anything, we'll bury it up a little bit. Well, while we're sitting out here in the sun waiting for the fish to bite, we just wanted to point out to you what we're wearing. Um, so this is from our bedrock collection on the anglerslogbook.com. We have a whole bunch of tees and crew necks, um, all sorts of styles for men's, kids and women. Uh, so go and check that out. We also have a range of knives if you're interested in that too. But um, yeah, go and check it out. We've got some new products and styles coming soon as well. So uh, there'll be plenty for you there to have a look at. And if you like something, then um, pick it up and it supports our channel. We really appreciate your support. So a couple things we're thinking about while we're out here fishing. Um, one was a trick we picked up the other night fishing with Jordan. Um, so it was to keep an eye on uh, your rod and you want to be trying to make that uh, lure uh, movement as dynamic as possible so that the fish finds it irresistible. So as you'll see up at the rod tip we've got some good movement and you can um, achieve that by varying your speed. So uh, we're both soft baiting or trolling. Uh, depending on what speed you're going you'll get um, a more dynamic action. Um, if you're going too fast it will um, settle down and not be as exciting or enticing for the fish. Uh, so that's one thing to think about. Uh, the second is more related to trolling in the summer. Um, one thing we've um, picked up on is that in the uh, warmer months when the lake is quite warm here the fish um, tend to congregate a little bit more in some of the areas where they're often shaded. Uh, so uh, case in point is right where we are. Um, this hillside will often shade this bay uh, through the afternoon and evening and we've had pretty good success through the warmer months just fishing around here. Uh, it's not always the case and maybe that's just something we're making up but um, in our experience uh, it's certainly been the case and we've had yeah, good success catching some great fish along this stretch of water um, but just something to think about when you're out doing it for yourself. If you have a look at the tip of the rod, you can see that lake snot I was talking about earlier. Just looks like a big slug on the end of there. But we'll try and get a little bit of it off and then um, yeah, the rest should just shake off once it dries out. Well, unfortunately no fish today. Um, it yeah, can be a bit hard going at the moment out here on Lake Wanaka. Um, yeah, I think probably another few weeks before the fishing really heats up again. But uh, we've really enjoyed this weekend anyway, being able to get outside and enjoy uh, this beautiful area that we live in uh, around Cromwell and Wanaka. Um, yeah, we're really thankful for your support and I uh, hope you enjoyed uh, watching this episode. We'll be back again next week with some more fishing adventures. Uh, if you do enjoy our videos, please do subscribe and um, yeah, we'll catch you next week. Bye.